Good morning, y'all. This is Rococo back at it again. See? I was waking out of my sleep when I, when I woke up. I looked at the clock. It said 5.35. So I decided to hop on here and pull some cards real fast. Hope your morning go great. It's a little early. I'm used to waking up early in the morning, though. You know, get up before the kids and get my day started. But anyway, decided to pull from my shits and shenanigans deck. And now I ain't on here to read nobody like a book. But I was nudged to pull from this, my RPG cards. I don't know why, but we're going to find out, right? So I pulled from the spread and I got Bastion, Minotaur, Siren, Doppelganger, Fool, and Key. And as I'm looking at these cards, like I said, I'm seeing multiple different stories, multiple scenarios, different timelines, if you will. So we're going to get started with this side. Somebody fleeing to the border. You're going to get stopped. Or let me rephrase that. I see somebody fleeing across the border. Who could possibly get stopped? Somewhere close to water. Somebody it could be state, state lines. I'm saying state lines florida possibly hmm. feminine energy could be leaving state lines you're gonna get stopped oh, they're gonna get stopped authority figure hmm. don't know what that's about some for y'all to look out for So, was a body found in some water? Woman. Jane Doe. Could be, I don't know. Something to do with Pisces. Cancer. Scorpio, sin. Could be related, in relation, could not. Did this woman leave the state line? Did they find this woman at the state line? No. Ooh. Hmm. Send someone. I cannot say that. Was a prostitute found? Send a prostitute. Hmm. Near water, where they went. I'm also saying somebody cross over into the spiritual realm, not in the way that you think, not transitioning. But going there seeking favor from an entity. When I see that, it's like you need to ask or answer these questions in order to pass, or you something like that. You need to. Offer some before you can pass. I don't know. I'm also saying a toll bridge. Somebody getting stopped at a toll bridge. Search. Vehicle search at a toll bridge. Guess you just look the part, don't you? I'm seeing a foolish investment. Did somebody pawn family heirloom? Can't get it back for whatever reason. 
Now it's causing family troubles. Did somebody lose a family heirloom and it's causing family trouble? See somebody battling their shadow self. Somebody f battling addictions. Lack, lack minded mentality. I'm also seeing colorism, tribalism, family, a group breaking apart. Somebody lost their key player. I'm also hearing, don't quit your day job. Don't go and spend your money. You know, foolish investment. See, a foolish investment that you can't come back from. Hmm. Somebody's having a tower moment. <clears throat> Somebody's being forced to deal with their shadow side. And you don't like what you see. It's in battle between light energies and dark energies. Could be in the spiritual community. Could not be. What they say is above, so below. Battle in heaven is a battle on earth. The card comes to life in an identical version of you. Improving your skills. Improving. Hmm. So somebody is dealing with a formidable uh, adversary. <clears throat> Doppelganger, a twin. I don't really too much talk about twin flames. That's just not my niche. No, I leave that twin flame stuff up to y'all. I don't. It's not that I don't believe in it. It's just it's not my thing. You know, DMs and DFs and stuff. That's fine. All that stuff is fine. It's not for me. I look at spirituality from more of a logical standpoint, not fairy tales and mythology. And plus, I'm not Greek. Fun fact, Twin Flames has been around for decades, even before you and I. This ain't something new. Everybody just hopping on. It's been around, been around for decades, long time, ancient. Got twisted and construed and twisted. I said twisted already, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Got switched up a little stuff was added to it to make it to whatever prettiness it is now. But like I said, it ain't my niche. I don't knock people who do do twin flame readings. It just ain't for me. But anyway, back to the cards. Send twins. Could be actual twins. Could be doppelgangers. Could be twin flames. But I'm saying opposite sides. I'm saying two versions of the same thing battling each other. This could be present, past, or future. I'm saying severe depression. I'm also saying somebody want to take themselves out. Get some help, please. If you know anybody that's thinking about harming them or themselves, please contact your local law enforcement or professional psychologist or whatever. Get them some help if you're able to. 
I do see a transitioning. I'm also seeing a burning bush. Moses. Laws. Ten Commandments. I'm seeing a battle over laws. Could be a battle over what to do and what not to do. The spirit, the laws of spirituality. Laws of attraction. I'm seeing somebody battle over the, the principles of what's right and what's wrong. Now, I'm going to say this. There's no body on God's green earth that has any real spiritual authority. Ain't nobody got a heaven or a hell to put nobody in. You see, you light your candles, you dress them, you give them the oil, you give them your offerings or sacrifices, whatever you call them. You see, you're giving them to a thing, a person, a spirit of God. I mean, you're getting your knowledge from a higher source. You have no real spiritual authority. So I don't know why this argument over spiritual laws is being broken. Y'all know the laws. Abide by them or don't. Nobody has any real spiritual authority on this plane. That's for somebody out there. Now I say it again. Ain't nobody got a heaven or hell to put anybody in. This key. There's a key here. I said somebody could have possibly pawned a family, a family heirloom. But I'm also saying someone be the key to a solution. The answer. What's been hidden behind the door? Closed door that's always been locked. Somebody is the key or somebody has the key. Could be an actual door that's closed in a home that nobody has a key to and it been found. Or I'm saying somebody transitioned with key information. That can help a battle. Did somebody lose a court battle? That's very unfortunate. Very foolish activity. Very foolish decision. Costly. Seeing some about key evidence as well. It's doppelganger. This could be a defense. What they call it. When two people go on the court, defense and uh can't think right now. But yeah, they something about a plan of sent. Heavy court. Somebody fighting over a Jane doll that was discovered. Somebody doing spell work on a court case. Somebody going to the labyrinth to ask for favor over a court case. I'm going to leave that right there. I don't know about that. Okay. I'll wrap that up. Get y'all some. Mm, that was. I seen something else, but. I don't think I can post that on YouTube. Anywho. Uh, watch your skin meet. The body snatches a hood hopping again. Get y'all some quick picks. Nope, too much. Uh, by the way, by the way, my cards are not for sale. You see these little sweet babies right here? I hand created these myself for me. 
they will not be on the Etsy shop. I mean, if you want to pay a couple honey to have a, a pack of these for me, yeah, that's fine. But other than that, they ain't for sale. You see, I ain't just take these and throw some some stuff together. Actually, research and studying signs and synchronicities that I was getting, I had to actually sit my ass down and understand what I was putting on these cards. Yeah, all my cards, all these are handmade. I have other decks, like I said, but I'm just really fine to these. Energy can't be distorted with these. Two twelve. Hmm. And there she is, ladies and gents. There she is. What y'all call him? Homie? Mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look what then the, the came out. 535. Mm. I knew that. I knew when I seen that number on the clock when I woke up this morning, I said, that's going to jump out of these cards. Okay, I'll get y'all one more. 424, okay. 212. 212 says that your, pers your persistence in trying to keep your independence will very soon bring long way to results in the form of banknotes. Your sociability, flexibility, and non-standard thinking will be in trend. And someone will be pay will be willing to pay good money for your presence in a team. Try not to give way here too. Otherwise, the most valuable quality of your nature will be lost forever. See? And the thing is about that Somebody could be offering somebody a position on a team to join a team to join a group. What I'm getting is don't be too quick to jump in. Do not be too quick to take any offerings, any proposals. A lot of alliances being built. Don't be so quick to join alliances because you really know. You really don't know who you're joining. Because I did see the siren card. And what do sirens do? They tend to lure people in with their sweet songs. And then what do they do after that? If you're an individual, don't be so quick to join in a group because you're going to lose your individuality. Because you're going to have to become a doppelganger or a clone. Otherwise, the most valuable quality of your nature will be lost forever. You're going to lose who you are as a person. S stay, stay to yourself. Just stay to yourself. Do what you've been doing. Do what's working for you. You don't need a group. That's for somebody out there. I don't know. Could be for me. I don't know. I ain't I ain't in no group. I ain't never been in a group. I ain't thinking about being in no group. I always been solo, bolo, and baby, that's the way I like it. Angel number 212 signifies trust, love, mostly partnerships and confidants. So if you're in a situation where you're torn whether to let go or resolve and you keep saying the number 212 everywhere, you go. Do not be tormented. You know exactly what you need to do. I say. The mistress. And my deck is the queen of wands. Significance. A woman having power, authority, or ownership. 
a woman who exercises authority is chief, etc. Mm -hmm. The female head of a family, school, yada, yada, yada. A woman who is well skilled in anything or having a mastery of it. A woman, regard, re, a woman regarded with love and devotion. She is she who has command over one's heart and beloved object, a sweetheart. In the upright, in reverse. A woman filling the place but without rights of a wife. A concubine, a loose woman. With whom the con whom one consorts habitually, the practice the art practices the art of seduction. I Shakespeare. That for somebody out there, I don't know. Hmm. Somebody can be joining a group, a mistress, and somebody a madam out here. A harem, a madam of a harem. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't. 535 <clears throat> significance angel number 535 asks you to trust that the choices and decisions you have made are the right ones for you even ideal situation requires adjustments as you move forward but you can trust that the angels are always with you gently guiding you along the way make the most of your natural abilities and talents and ensure that you do it in ways that reflect who you are truly Rely upon your communicative skills and creative skills and abilities to allow yourself to keep an open mind and open heart as to the changes that are currently taking place in your life. Trust that your highest ideas will be accepted. I say, thank you, Spirit. 424. Angel number 424 is a message that the angels are helping to keep the faith and resolve strong. Keep your faith and resolve strong. And your thoughts... Oh, keep your faith to keep your results and thoughts strong, positive, and optimistic. You can have a lot of work to do, and your angels encouraging you to put your efforts towards towards serving your soul's mission. Give any, give any fears and or anxieties to the angels and ask for healing and guidance whenever you feel the need. Know that your angels encourage you to encourage your success and happiness and support you along the path. Angel number four to four brings a message to consider all of your options and weigh up what's truly important to you and what does not. Do not waste your, team, your time. I say spirit. Thank you. I'm going to get some coffee, y'all. Thank you for stopping by my Etsy page. I appreciate that. Don't know what you went over there looking for, but... I hope you found I hope you found what you was looking for. I doubt it though. Hmm. Like I said, don't quit your day job. YouTube is ain't nothing more than entertainment and a hobby. For me anyway. All right, I might jump back on here later on, my night. But then if I don't, TTYL, y'all have a good morning. Bye.